K9 for central incisor and then a K9. And then you can see healthy gum, okay, pinkish, okay, no swelling, no redness, no sign of inflammation. This is a very healthy uh, appearance. This particular situation is not uh, decay. So if we call double teeth, okay, or double tooth, because the, uh, this uh, developmental mm -hmm. defect, you can see the two teeth fuse mm -hmm. together. Okay, you can see, uh, sometimes you can see a little bit blackening because it's difficult to clean the area, but this is not too decay. You may see chipping of the incisor, okay? So uh, I want to show you this slide. This is not tooth decay. Okay, it's just double teeth and some chipping. And you see a very strange tooth right here. It's a pointer. This is, uh, we call extra tooth. Actually, we call supernumerary tooth, okay? It's not tooth decay, okay? We see something very interesting here. Okay, a sharp tooth here is an extra tooth, okay? Uh, sometimes some children, about one in 20, you have some very uh, bizarre tooth, uh, extra tooth development. And you can see some staining here. You can see stain is just stain. Uh, they are not tooth decay. Okay. In this particular case, we need to look closer. Okay. Sorry. Okay. On this picture. Okay. Is that tooth decay or staining? Still you see, right? But when you look at the surface, it's smooth. This is just staining. Okay. Staining. Okay. And this staining is caused by a bacteria called homogenic bacteria, which um, just cause some blackening. Okay, there's no damage to the tooth structure. However, when you see the loss of the tooth, uh, uh, bleaching of the enamel, there's some damaging. This is tooth decay. It can happen. Okay, uh, altogether. So you need to check. Okay, the surface integrity, whether there's some uh, uh, damage on the tooth enamel surface. So you need to have a good eye to see, okay, and check. Okay, sometimes it's not that easy. Okay, but front teeth with good lighting, you may be able to identify them. Okay, back teeth, forget about it. Okay, so uh, without good equipment, without training, it's difficult to train you. But I think, um, in this session, we can show you how to identify the teeth, okay, with decay on the on the upper front teeth. Okay, so this is a tooth decay. This is some some staining. Okay, uh, this tooth you can see has a gum boil abscess there. Uh, you will see a lot of children because they fell, okay, they had trauma, and that caused tooth damage with a gum boil, okay. So the many children fall, well, right? And then they damage the teeth and then develop what we call abscess. Okay, you may encounter things like that. Then you need to look at the teeth, look at the integrity, okay, whether there's some uh, destruction due to decay. If not, it's not due to uh, decay, okay? The gum boil is likely due to the trauma the patient fell down, okay, before. And sometimes the, child, child, the child may not even recognize they have a fall, okay? And then, and, and gradually, there's an abscess developed there. Okay, you may, uh, when you look into soft tissue, you see very interesting, uh, funny uh, pathology, but it's not related to tooth decay. Rarely, you may see case, I don't think you will see that, but there are some uh, discoloration of teeth. This is uh, due to intrinsic staining. Sometimes the tooth can be very dark very dark because of the depth of the pulp. Okay, you can see a very dark tooth, but when you look at the surface, it's still intact. So all this uh, black uh, uh, darkening is basically due to the intrinsic, the pulp death causing, causing discoloration is not uh, uh, related to tooth decay. Uh, and uh, I don't think you will encounter this situation okay, in, your, in your survey. I did a lot of survey and this is rare, okay. But we understand there are some um, phenomenon, that some uh, special child will have this type of uh, statement, okay. 
And for the now, I want to do a, a, a work with you some carry assessment exercise. Okay, now I want every one of you, okay, to tell me the following slide are detailed or not. Okay, this is no, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, okay. So I want you, I want you to know what we look at is the oh, this sixty. Okay, okay, in the following yeah. slides. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first one oh. decay. Decay, obvious. Okay, you can see. Damaging, right? Okay, all destroy things. on the thing. And you can see very obvious. Actually, you can smell. Okay, you can smell. You can smell. You can smell. Okay. Do the children feel pain when they, they have a mouthful of decay? Not really. They don't feel the okay, pain? Okay, okay, not really. Okay. Make they may not be able to complain or express it. But it's, uh, it's not uncommon. It's not uncommon, I tell you. As I mentioned, go back to the side in Southeast Asia. There's nowhere in Southeast Asia the decay rate is less than 15%. Wow, that's very high. Okay, and in Philippines, 91. In Taiwan, 92. You, can, you, are, you are amazed how these two decay affect their young children. Okay? Okay, sorry? How about this one? No, staining. Staining. Yes, great. So you can see staining, okay, but you see very nice teeth, right? Yeah. These are just staining, okay. Good. How about this one? Oh, decay. Oh, decay. Decay, it's obvious. Okay, you can see roots, right? The retained roots, okay, the rotten roots, are okay, you can see some roots are okay, it's obvious, right? Good. How about this one? Okay, stain, right? So you can see stain on the lower teeth, right? These are the stain. You can still see the anatomy of the tooth. That one might be suspicious. Here. No, that one. Here. No, this one. Here. What? We need to look is the six upper front teeth, right? Okay, yeah, for the assessment. Bottom. But all these are stains. Stain. Yeah, that's why they say it's a tricky category. Can be tricky. Okay. 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 Okay.